Sunday, 147, our first meal. We get three eggs, three strips of bacon, and four pieces of steak bites wrapped in bacon. That's the last of them. And two pecan sticky bun waffles with butter and Lakanto sugar free maple syrup. Bun. Hi, it's Cindy. I am going to make a keto cheesecake. And I'm not sure whose recipe it is, but I'll show you what we're going to use. Here's the recipe. We're going to use the three cream cheese, not the cashews, four eggs, vanilla extract, sour cream, and Swerve's confectioner sugar. So let's get going. So I have my pan lightly greased around the sides, a springform pan. It calls for seven to nine inch, but that's the only one I have. Now, what I need to do is three eight ounce packages of cream cheese, a cup of sweetener, one teaspoon of vanilla, a third a cup of sour cream, and four eggs. Beat up the cream cheese, then add the sweetener, sour cream, vanilla, mix that up, and then add eggs one at a time beating until thick and creamy after one minute after each egg. And let's get to it. in real good getting the rest of the sides goes in the pan the preheated oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes and I'll show you when it's done all right so while that cheesecake is cooking I am going to make Nisha Berry's Ketovore meatloaf recipe with the exception that instead of putting the bacon on the top like she does I'm going to use bacon crumble in the mix up. That way there's bacon all the way through it. This is what I'm using for the meatloaf. Got a pound, pretty much a pound of each. Ground beef, ground bison, ground lamb. I'm gonna mix it all together. There's coconut aminos, three eggs, Parmesan cheese that I've measured out, pork and good pork rinds, minced garlic, the bacon crumble that I talked about, and diced onion. So let's get started.
finished product. Just put it in the pan. And this is a nine by 13 casserole baking pan, whatever you want to call it. Almost missed. <laughs> Now, like I said, she tops hers with bacon, but I can't get the bacon crisp enough that I put the bacon crumble inside, and I will put some on the top. This gets baked at a 400 degree preheated oven for one hour. And I think I'll probably top mine with a little sugar-free ketchup, because we always did that when we cooked the meatloaf. So, yeah, you can see it makes a lot. This is three pounds of meat, and actually a little over because the bison was a little over. But this is so good when you mix the meats. It's good with just ground beef too. But her recipe is amazing. And I will link it in the description below. And I will show you when it's done. We're still waiting on the cheese steak to come out. Then I have to up the temperature of the oven to 400 from 350. And once it's up to temp, it's going in. There's the cheesecake before it falls. Because <laughs> I know it's going to, it does all the time, but boy, it looks good. This was after the shrinkage and the daggone splitting. And by the way, this is a crustless cheesecake. Now for cleanup. bit of ketchup and the bacon crumble that we that I talked about before. I'll let it cool a little bit then we're gonna eat. Great dinner obviously some of the meatloaf that I just made. 405 we just got done bowling. This is my first meal. There's some cottage cheese, one serving of cottage cheese, five ounces of taco meat. I've crushed up this bag of chili lime plus chips and put Mexican cheese on it. I am starving. Tuesday, our first meal, we went to Red Lobster and had unlimited shrimp. Forgot to get a picture. Today at Myers, we bought two big packs of skin-on bone-in chicken thighs. And I pulled the skins off and I threw them in the oven at 300 degrees until they crisped up. And man, look at all this I got. 
There were 16, 18 chicken thighs in total. Man, this is good. All I did is put salt on them, throw them in the oven. Yum. Yeah, this is the grease that came off the chicken skins. So clear, it looks so good. I'll use it in a recipe for something. Wednesday's dinner, chocolate peanut butter keto chocolate, chalk zero peanut butter chips. Thursday at almost noon, we're breaking our fast. So brisket and three eggs. Friday at 116, our first meal. These are Amy Lou chicken sausages, three eggs, and my egg white bread toasted with Amish butter on it. I made some electrolyte gummies with the raspberry salt. And this is what it made. Those are already popped out. They're all in this bag. I just have to pop these out and I'm done. They are good. Dinner tonight, boiled ham, egg, all cut up in chunks with green beans. 